The battalion flag may still be flying over Alexander Barracks in Decalia, but there's just one month left before it's taken down for good. The 2nd Battalion, the Royal Regiment of Fusiliers, is being disbanded in August as a result of Army 2020 cutbacks. Despite opposition to the plans and protests by veterans and MPs, time has run out for the battalion and it's accepted its fate with resignation and dignity. I think this has been and always has been an incredibly professional and proud battalion. Uh, so I would uh, like to thank everybody who's served in 2nd Fusiliers since 1968 for making it the fantastic battalion that it's always been and is still. The second Fusiliers may be coming to an end, but the battalion leaves a strong legacy behind it. From its formation on St George's Day in 1968, the battalion has been involved in virtually every single army campaign. Many of the personnel have spent their whole career with the battalion and are sad to see it go. I joined the second Fusiliers in September 1984 when they were based in Borland Barracks in Catrick. Um, part of 24 AMO Bar Brigade, as it was called then, so obviously some time ago. And, and as such, I'm now the, the longest serving second Fusilier still serving in the battalion. Some of the highlights will include the Ace Mobile Force when we were deployed to Norway every, every uh, winter. Uh, that was hard work, an exercise hard fall in southern Norway, then deployed to the north. Uh, some of the hardest soldiering I've ever done, that is, I might add. Um, and various tours of Northern Ireland and then all through the major campaigns that the, the British Army has been involved in through the Balkans in the 90s. Iraq, Afghanistan, so, you know, pretty much all over the place. They arrived in Cyprus in 2012 and soon took on the role as the Theatre Reserve Battalion on standby to deploy on operations. But they've done their best to work hard and play hard too, developing a boxing team, training hard on the pitch and taking every opportunity to bring the battalion together with parades and family events. The pride and celebrations have at times been overshadowed by loss, with the deaths of three members of the battalion in non-combat circumstances. Fusilier James Wilkinson during a training exercise in Kenya, Fusilier David Collins in Ayanapa in 2012, and Fusilier Lee Rigby last year on the streets of London. It's been a difficult time for everyone, facing grief and the unsettled upheaval of disbandment. Personnel are now due to move on, Friends and families will go their separate ways, many to the 1st Battalion in Tidworth, switching to an armoured infantry role. It's very sad, really, um, for, for us all. It's, it's, you know, it's been quite difficult for a lot of people to take because of the circumstances in which it's happened. Um, and, you know, for a lot of guys, it'll be, it'll, be, um, it'll be them saying farewell to friends and, you know, people that they expected to serve a lot more time with, you know. I've been through uh, a merge before. I went from the 3rd Battalion to the 1st Battalion and it, and it all went very well. So, you know, it's not the end of the world, but it is a very, very sad time. The battalion have just a month left here in Cyprus. Soon just one company will remain and they'll hand over to the 2nd Battalion, the Princess of Wales's Royal Regiment, at the start of August. It's the end of an era for the battalion, the end of more than 40 years of battalion history. But it's a history everyone here is very proud to have been part of. Carla Prater, Forces News, at Decalia in Cyprus.